So we're joined by two of Edinburgh's brightest young prospects, Connor Boyle and Jack Blaine, who both enjoyed a really momentous weekend, making his first home start for the club and his competitive debut as well. First of all, lads, how are you getting on? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, all good, all good. How's the bodies after the weekend? I'm sure, I mean, today's session's usually pretty tough as well. How, how are you guys getting on? Yeah, not too bad. It was a tough session today, but all right after the weekend. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit, that was the first time I've probably done contact in about, what, six months, so I was a bit yeah, sore on Monday. But... Ages. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we'll start with you, Jack. Obviously, uh, first home start for you there. Let's maybe go back to the start. What was it like that moment when, uh, I'm sure Cocker's probably told you, you're starting at 15 on uh, on Sunday night? Um, yeah, just excited, really. Um, I mean, kind of, we've been, yeah, it was my first game since March, so just excited to actually get a game of rugby in and um, to be playing at Murrayfield um, was great as well to make my home debut and to get a start was great as well. So, um, yeah, it was a really enjoyable game, I thought, for obviously the result um, wasn't great for us, but uh, really enjoyable just to get that first run out at the home ground. It was a bit of a shock to the system when you were obviously put at 15 and those run, run throughs during the week or were you kind of all set, ready to go? Um, I mean, I'd been kind of not, ex not expecting to... Um, I knew that there was shortage in the back three, so um, I was kind of getting some reps in at full back the week before when we didn't have a game. Um, so then uh, I kind of had prepared myself a wee bit, but I didn't really expect to get chucked in like that. So um, it was a bit of a shock, but yeah, it was good. You played much 15 before or usually just on the wing? Uh, usually on the wing, but I've played 15 before. Last time I played full back was about two years ago. So um, yeah. You know it. It's true now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we put a little bit of a clip of uh, you on social on uh, on Monday, and you know got a good reaction. People were, you know, yeah. a lot of praise. How has it been after? Is your phone been blowing up, or is it has not been too bad? Uh, it's not been too bad. Just been getting some nice messages from friends and uh, people that we went to school with, and I've just seen a couple of people out and about, and from just down at Harriet's. I know I saw a couple of them the other night. Um, just at the shop actually and they've just said you know well done and just to stick in hopefully I, you know I can get a run of games so yeah Connor just over to you obviously uh, yeah your competitive debut making your uh, you know first ever appearance for the club how was that moment running on the pitch and uh, yeah knowing that, that that zero next to your appearances is suddenly a one yeah, it was it was good I was, I was probably more thinking of just trying to go over the nerves to be honest getting myself involved Um. But yeah, it was it was kind of only after the game that I, I realised that it was it was over the line. I was kind of too in the moment and too probably a bit fired up to be thinking about that when I was playing. Were you uh, officially bricking it on the sidelines? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the S and G team had probably given me enough caffeine, so I was probably <laughs> probably over the edge at that point. I've I've actually tried some of that stuff before as well. It's uh, yeah, you're not you're not mucking about with that, are you? I was, <laughs> I the, 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 the Unleash the Beast stuff that they gave us <laughs> I think hard. I was probably up to about four in the morning after it just, yeah. just, you can't sleep I was I was wondering you know I text you a photo the next day and I look at your WhatsApp and it says you know last act at four in the morning I thought either <laughs> either, either he's been out or the adrenaline's still going so <laughs> yeah. listen obviously awesome to see you out there I think one thing a lot of supporters noticed you had the Stu Mel scrum cap on uh, yeah, a little, a little old to the past was it? A little nod to the guys that got you there. Oh, uh, it's, it's probably more superstition to be honest. Now, I mean, I've only ever not worn that scrum hat for two games, and both of those games have been injured. So <laughs> it's kind of a good luck thing now, as well as I don't want, I don't want to sound like Batman was when I put the scrum hat on, I become someone else. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, it just I don't know. It just kind of helps set me set my mood for games I suppose you're trying to say no one knew who you were before the scrum cap is that <laughs> yeah, <a lot> of <laughs> yeah. okay got you how, how did you find it then obviously coming in uh, at, at seven uh, you had Mezu who played you know Mezu played a great game so did Ali Miller as well you feel like you slotted just straight in there uh, yeah I suppose uh, tw when I came on the game is probably uh, closing out a bit more but um, yeah I think the, the amount of minutes I got was probably 
perfect for what I was looking for. I just kind of settled the nerves and, and kind of reassure myself that I could play at that level and compete with the physicality of it. Do you kind of have that moment, oh, back to you, Jack, when you kind of, uh, you're maybe standing there and you realise, um, you know, playing pro rugby here and I'm, uh, and I'm, <laughs> I'm going up a pretty good, up against a pretty good opposite number. I know you weren't going up against Bindiaki, but yeah. uh, do you have those kind of moments, uh, you know, reflection, I guess? Yeah, I had um, in the warm up, Cockers kicked me the ball and I ran it back and I ran into Moz McCallum and Dave Cherry and got hit by both of them. And then I was on the ground and I was like, oh, right, here we go. <laughs> uh, kind of just like preparing myself for that because I mean, when you get the ball at fullback and you just have to run it back into a brick wall, you just kind of look for the smallest space that you can <laughs> kind of get through. But um, yeah. How did you have it, kind of, you're in a pretty experienced back three there. You've got Aroni, who's uh, obviously hard as nails and just runs through <laughs> anything, and Jamie, who's played a lot, a lot of sevens rugby. Were those boys pretty good at talking you through? Yeah, 100%. I mean, everyone with the backs, um, just, yeah, really just trying to boost your confidence, give you confidence before the game. Yako was actually really helpful. So was Dino, Christine. Um, just telling me to back myself, really, and just in- enjoy it because that's all you can really do just go out there and enjoy it um, and back yourself because we train four times a week or whatever just to go out there and enjoy it on a Friday night um, and play with each other and yeah um, it was good What about yourself Connor? what was uh, the kind of words from, from Cocker or probably more likely Stevie Laurie I'm guessing as well pre-match was probably seven any words of advice for you? Uh, yeah I mean I spoke to Cocker's in the captain's run and, and he was just kind of reassuring to like to probably just do what I do well, you know, fight and compete in uh, all the hard stuff. And because he knew I was going to bring that, and he was just told me to be decisive and back myself. And you know, if I made a mistake in a team meeting, and it was a you know me just being decisive and making the decision, he wouldn't have a problem with that. And then in terms of players, I mean, Maggie spoke to me. He said, you know, the good thing is there's obviously no one there, so no one can make money <laughs> for making any mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's the one good thing about having uh, no crowds. I, I was going to come come to that. Obviously, you'd both be fairly gutted that you know your first home start and your first appearance wasn't it in front of an Edinburgh crowd. Um, you know, we've had tons of messages in from from fans and stuff like that. Obviously, mentioning and, and they've been looking at you as you guys have come through the ranks. I have any message for them? Because it's a, it's a tough time for them, kind of obviously not being able to get to any games. Do you have any messages for them? We've not had the best start to the season, but. Any messages to them to just kind of keep the faith, I guess? Trust the process, maybe. I think, uh, you know, you look at the... We reviewed last week's game, you know, the game before that, and it is mar- like fine margins of errors where we're not necessarily there just yet. But if you look at the young squad of boys that we have and probably the inexperience we have at the moment compared to some of the other teams, I think, you know, going forward, the boys getting a run out now will start turning up and we will eventually you know get the results that they're used to I think uh, Is it just during this period obviously uh, international window have you guys kind of had the, had the thought process this is a period where you could kind of almost make or break your time here you can you can cement yourself and make sure you're on that uh, that match day 23 even when the international guys come back is it is that really kind of gone through your guys minds? Um, yeah I guess it's just an opportunity where you're getting a bit of game time to put your hand up for selection so that when those guys do come back, obviously, you know, they're internationalists and they're great players, you know, you can still put your hand up for selection and Corkers will still be thinking about you in those, uh, you know, selection meetings and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Well, listen, guys, appreciate you joining uh, us here. I'm sure uh, Edinburgh Sports will look forward to seeing you uh, pull on the Stu Mill scrum cap and whatever you were, Jack, in the uh, yeah. in the coming months. But yeah, I appreciate your time. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you back out there soon. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers thanks. thanks.